Welcome to my workshop. In this video, we're going to make snowmen. It's incredibly simple. And you most likely already have all you need for this at hand. You can also squeeze them like anti-stress toys. We're going to make them from socks. I've bought a couple of new ones, but you can use the ones that have lost their pairs. I believe everyone's got a couple of these at home. If you remember, I have a workshop about gnomes made from lost socks. They're cool too. Go check them out. Now I'm going to fill my sock with rice. I'm using a small plastic container that is easy to bend. It's very convenient. I've heat treated the rice in the oven beforehand for 10 minutes at 120 degrees Celsius to avoid moth and other insects in the future. Pour the rice in portions, stamping the sock on the table from time to time. Until you get the snowman of the desired size. I guess I'll add some more. Now we're going to need a thread of any kind. Tie the opening on the top. Make sure you tighten the knot very well. Now you can also cut off the successive part of the sock. So you get this nice and chubby bag of rice. So squeezable. Now take another piece of thread and turn the bag into a snowman in one simple move. Looks great. Now tie the thread and tighten it well. Super easy so far, isn't it? Now let's make this little guy some clothes. I found this lovely sock with winter ornament. I cut it close to the heel area. That will be the snowman's coat. I cut the heel off, we're not gonna need it. And turn it into a hat. I've decided to add some rice into the pom-pom too, to make it a bit heavier. So, here's a lovely little hat. For the other snowman, I've done everything vice versa. I used this part to make a hat. You can make a pom-pom like this. Or you can do without it. For this, you need to turn the sock inside out. Tie the top and turn it inside out again. Like that. This one also looks great. The stripe will make a scarf. Just pull it a little bit sideways and cut. Looks good enough already, might as well just leave it like this. But I can't just throw away such a beautiful sock, so I make a coat from the remaining part. Just look at this little one. And the final step. Now we're gonna make them some faces. Let's start with the nose. I suggest that we make it from felt. Cut a small triangle and make the corners round and get a nice little carrot. 
that's just perfect. If you have no felt at hand, try to make something from orange paper or cardboard. That should also work. The second option is to make a 3D nose. Grab a piece of felt and roll a cone like this. Fix it with a drop of glue. And cut off the excessive part. These ones also look great. I think I'll keep them. Now glue the noses in place. And now let's move on to the eyes. Here we have a whole bunch of options. For example, using some ready-made ones. I'm not a fan of these because they give a toy sort of a silly look. The second option is small black beads. I used these in the workshop about kittens from socks. I'll leave the link in the description. The beads work just great here. The next option is half beads with one side flat. You can find them at an arts and crafts store. They also look nice. If you don't have any of these, just use some felt. Cut the shapes from a black piece. In this version, I advise you to take a white thread and sew on a small speck of light. And the look instantly comes alive. Another idea could be buttons or permanent marker marks. For my snowman, I'm going to use the half beads. And here's a life hack for you. Stick the half bead onto the tip of a soft eye pencil so you don't have to hold it in your hands, since it's not very convenient. And by the way, there is always an option to embroider the face with some threads, like I did in the workshop on the kittens. Look at these cool buddies. And the final stroke. Let's make them some tiny felt smiles. And stick them on with the help of our good old friend, the glue gun. And just a few more decorations which are not really necessary, like adding some blush in their cheeks. Make sure you shake off the excessive dust on your hand first, just not to make them look too blushy. And that's it! My snowmen are ready! So cute and touching! And squeezing them is so much fun! You can turn them into twiggies or into fatties. Subscribe to my channel and stay in touch! and have yourself a merry little Christmas.